Today I'm going to tell you all about PISA. As always, please subscribe to our channel as I'll be posting more videos as soon as I can. PISA is a city and commune in Tuscany straddling the Arno River just before it empties into the Ligurian Sea. Although PISA is known worldwide for its leaning tower, the city contains more than 20 other historic churches, several medieval palaces, and bridges across the Arno. Much of the city's architecture was financed from its history as one of the Italian maritime republics. Most people say to not bother going to Pisa. It's a leaning tower and a bunch of fools taking weird pictures with it. They're right about the picture taking part, at least. As we walked through the charming streets, we could see the dome of the cathedral in the distance. Dotting the streets as we neared were many restaurants with outdoor seating. The heart of the Piazza del Duomo is a domo, the medieval cathedral of the Archdiocese of Pisa, dedicated to Santa Maria Assunta, St. Mary of the Assumption. The cathedral has two aisles on either side of the nave. The transept consists of three aisles. Next we walk to the baptistry. The baptistry dedicated to St. John the Baptist stands opposite the west end of the Domo. The round Romanesque building was begun in the mid-12th century. It was built in Romanesque style by the architect known as Dio Tesalvi, who also worked in the Church of the Holy Sepulchre in the city. The Campanile, or bell tower, commonly known as the Ling Tower of Pisa, is located behind the cathedral. The last of the three major buildings on the piazza to be built. Construction of the bell tower began in 1173 and took place in three stages over the course of 177 years, with the bell chamber only added in 1372. Five years after construction began, when the building can reach its third floor level, the weak subsoil and poor foundation led to the building sinking on its south side. The building was left for a century, which allowed the subsoil to stabilize itself and prevented the building from collapsing. In 1272, to adjust the lean of the building when construction resumed, the upper floors were built with one side taller than the other. The seventh and final floor was added in 1319. By the time the building was completed, the lean was approximately one degree. At its greatest, the lean measured approximately five and a half degrees. In 2010, the lean was reduced to approximately four degrees. The Compensanto Monumentale, also known as the Compensanto Vecchio, the old cemetery, is located at the northern edge of the square. This walled cemetery is said to have been built around a shipload of sacred soil from Calvary, brought back to Pisa from the Third Crusade by the Archbishop of Pisa in the 12th century. This is the name where Campo Santo, Holy Field, originates. The building itself dates from a century later and was erected over the earlier burial ground. The building of this huge, oblong Gothic cloister began in 1278 by the architect Giovanni di Simone. He died in 1284 when Pisa suffered a defeat in a naval battle in Meloria against the Genoans. The cemetery was only completed in 1464. The outer wall is composed of 43 blind arches. There are two doorways. The one on the right is crowned by a gracious Gothic tabernacle and contains a Virgin Mary with child surrounded by four saints. The Campo Monumentale once contained a large collection of Roman sculptures and sarcophagi, but now there are only 84 remaining. So is Pisa a waste of time? I sure don't think so. If you're coming from Florence, spend the morning here, and then the afternoon and evening in Luca, which is about 20 minutes away by train. Thank you for watching.